All right, I'm Magnum Opus, and this is a tutorial on creating surface textures in the Blender game engine. The first thing you want to do is make a model of what you want the surface to look like. I'm going to be making tiles, but you can use the same technique for rock or brick or diamond plating or whatever you want. The important thing is that whatever pattern you make, it needs to be tileable. That is, it needs to repeat seamlessly with the left and right and top and bottom edges lining up. Now I'm making my tiles as three separate objects, the large tile in the center, smaller tiles at each corner, and the grout in between them. Alright, add a camera. It should be orthographic, so it doesn't really matter what the height is at. The pattern I made is exactly 2x2 two two units, so I'll scale the camera to 2. Um, now we need to make the viewport a square. I made mine here 256 by 256 but that's really way too big for a texture like this. You can definitely get away with something a lot smaller than that. Alright, so now we'll render a color map. I'll make the big tiles straight white. All these materials should be shadeless, by the way, because um, they're going to be shaded later on in the game engine. The small tiles are going to be black. Again, everything's shadeless. And the grout's going to be blue, I guess. Blue. OK, now render the image. That looks pretty good. Now we need to open it again up in the UV image editor. UV image editor. <laughs> and save the image somewhere. I made a new folder for this. I'll call it tile color. And save. Okay, now we'll make a specular map. Specular maps are on a gray scale where white is super shiny and black is not. Gray is in between. I'm going to make all the tiles pure white and the grout is going to be black. So that way the tiles are going to come out really shiny and the grout won't really reflect much light at all. Okay, there's a specular map. And I'll save this one as tile spec. Okay, now we'll make a normal map. Material is a little more complex to do a normal map. You can do it with material nodes if you want, but I'm just going to use a regular material. Again, these all need to be shadeless, and this one's going to be black.
Okay, we're going to color it with three different textures. They all need to be set to blend. And these are going to be for red, green, and blue. I'll just give them names here. Okay, so use normals for the input. The red one will use the X direction. Color this one red. Okay, now the green one is use normals on the Y direction. Make this green. And make sure you set this to add instead of mix. The last one is on the Z. It's going to be blue. And again, set this to add. And that's the normal material. We'll put the same one on all the objects in the scene. And render it. Okay, back to the UV image editor. Make sure I got all these. And there's our normal map. I'll save it as tile normal. Okay, now I'm going to start a new blend file. I'm going to just use a square plane. You can put the material on whatever surface you want. Scale it up a bit. Add a lamp to give it some light. This needs to be in texture draw mode. And make sure you turn on Blender GLSL materials. Okay, give the plane a new UV texture. I'll name it color. We we'll use it for everything though, not just the color. Open up the UV image editor. And open the color map image. Now, my plane is already unwrapped as a square. If your surface isn't square, uh, you want to use project from view to unwrap it. Now we'll give it a new material. This is going to be a tile material. Add a new texture. This one is going to be the color. It's an image. And use the color map image we just loaded. Now use the UV texture as input. We'll scale the image to 10 by 10. Okay, and there's the color map. Okay, now for the specular map. Add another texture, image, load the specular map image we made. Tile spec. I use UV as input. Uh, I should have entered a name here. It doesn't matter when you only have one UV, but you need to name it if you have more than one. In this case, we only have the one named color. It will scale up the same way, 10 by 10. That way it lines up. Now in the Map 2 tab, turn off color, and then turn on specular color, reflection amount, and specularity amount. So now the tiles and grout appear to be different materials. Okay, now we use a normal map to give us some depth. Add another texture. Load the normal map image. 
Now with this one, you have to, once I get it loaded, you have to actually click the normal map button to enable it as a normal map. Okay, and everything else is pretty much the same. Just use UV input. And scale it 10 by 10. Okay, now turn off color. Click normal, but then click it again so it turns yellow. The first one is like an emboss effect, but we don't really want that. We want the tiles to stick out instead of appearing like they were carved in. Now, I'm going to lower the normal value so it isn't so strong. There we go. Okay, so now the tiles appear to be 3D. Okay. All right, now I'm going to add one more texture. This is going to be another specular map. I'm going to load a difference cloud image I made in GIMP. Blender can also render difference clouds if you want to do it in Blender instead. This is just one I had already made. Okay, just a normal difference cloud image. This is going to be second specular map. Okay, input doesn't really matter in this case. Um, See, so turn off color. I set this one to multiply so it doesn't totally mess up the other one we have. And then turn on the same ones as the first specular map. So it doesn't look so clean now. The tiles appear a little bit grimy. We'll scale it a bit. Now the way I have it scaled right now, it lines up with the other images exactly, and I don't want that. So I'll put in some random number here, 3.2 and 3.7, 3.7, okay. Now, now this way it doesn't line up with the other images, so now every tile is going to appear slightly different than the other ones. Okay, so that's the basic tile texture. Here it is with some walls. And you can do a lot more with it. I made a room with this using this material. I added an ambient occlusion map here which needs separate UVs so it's a good thing I named the other one. The water material is just an animated normal map, an animated color map, and a reflection map. Oh, <laughs> wow it runs real slow here with screen capture going but normally it runs faster. Well, yeah, so hopefully you found that tutorial useful. One more thing, if you haven't already seen my current game project, Hellbent, check out my channel for the latest videos. Here's a quick sneak peek of that. And remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.